Hey everyone, it's Mike from GetFitOver40.com and we are six weeks out to the Vancouver uh, Showdown, 2021 Showdown, and that's a Vancouver Island Showdown. And uh, yeah, so I did a video eight weeks out, so two weeks ago. I think I was, at that point, I said I was going to do them every two weeks. But you know, for the first two months out, not a lot happens week to week. It's really hard to see the changes. If anything, um, you know, I'm this first month is more focused, not so much on leaning out, although I'm going to try and be losing a little bit of body fat throughout it. But it's mostly just, you know, I'm just trying to get as much muscle as I can on in those in that one month. And then the, the month before, so the last four weeks will be more about getting rid of water, getting rid of fat, really leaning out. That said, uh, I do feel like I have some work to do here. I'm at six weeks out. I'm definitely not as lean as I have been for some shows, but I'm holding a lot of water right now. So it is hard to tell. Um, my diet isn't super clean. I wasn't really focusing on a clean diet the last two weeks. That wasn't the goal. Holding water right now isn't really concerning other than that it's hard to tell what's going on when you're holding water. Um, you know, that's why it's a little easier four weeks out. You clean things up a lot more and you can really tell what's going on in terms of, you know, how much fat you really have because it's not going to be water for sure. So that's the goal. This next two weeks, I'm going to be cutting things down a little bit calorie wise. I was eating the last two weeks about 2,500 to 3,000 a day and maybe, you know, in a calorie deficit of about 500 calories. So it wasn't aggressive. I have to ramp that up and probably eat closer to 2,000 calories, maybe as high as 2,500 calories this next two weeks. Try to put myself in about a 1,000 calorie deficit, um, at least Monday to Friday. And then what's going to happen is through the, through the, on the weekends, I eat a little bit more, but not that much. I try to keep in about a 500 calorie deficit on the weekends, but I do allow a little bit more eating on the weekends. And that, that way I don't do too much damage and undo what I did through the week. So, you know, I should lose a pound and a half to two pounds a week. That's not overly aggressive. That's, you know, for six weeks, that's not super aggressive. Now, as things proceed and as I get leaner and leaner and the body starts fighting back and the metabolism starts to slow down, you do have to make some more changes, you know, and go under 2000 calories a day for those last couple of weeks, if need be, ramp up walking and exercise. I don't do a lot of cardio. I really don't do any cardio unless I absolutely have to. My cardio, uh, if you've watched any of my past videos, is generally speaking, just adding in walking and more walking and more walking. So if I need to burn, if I need to be in a calorie deficit, I just ramp up more calories by, or, you know, caloric calories by walking more, working out, you know, as much as possible, an hour and a half, sometimes two hours a day to get. And then posing practice would be my cardio. I can get my heart rate up to about 130 or 140 during posing practice. So the more posing practice you do, the more cardio. It's kind of like cardio. So I'll be doing that the last month a lot more. And that really helps to ramp up the burnt calories. And then my food calories, you know, I like to stick to try again, put myself in about a 1,000 to 1,500 calorie deficit. So definitely holding water compared to the last video that I showed. Uh, I'm up in weight actually, but I know I'm down in fat because I'm looking at my in-body scale. I'm definitely up about five pounds or so, but I'm down about since in the last two weeks. I'm down almost, well, I'm down close to 2%, so 2% body fat, just, just a hair over that or under that, so about 1.7% body fat, so that's good, but it is hard to tell because, you know, with water retention, that can throw off these scales, so it's not an exact science. So kind of that's what's happening. The next two weeks, again, focus a little bit more on cleaning up the diet a little bit more uh, to try to, you know, combat the water retention slightly, but I'm, I'm not going to be super concerned about it. Uh, try and put myself in a, a decent calorie deficit, uh, you know, no more probably than a thousand, about a thousand calories a day will be the net over the next two weeks. Uh, that shouldn't be too aggressive. And then I can sort of see how things are going after that the last four weeks. So we'll do a little bit of, a little bit of posing here. You know, I'm going to have to start practicing my posing. Right. So. I'm not sure which if I'm going to do that pose. We'll see. All right. I'll show some. Uh, if I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do classic or not. A 
We'll see. I'm not sure about that. Do some back stuff. All right. Um, what else can we do here? Uh, we'll do, uh, why not? We'll try something. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do here. Little abs. And uh, let's throw some legs. Right? Anyways, that should be good enough just to give you guys a basic overview, kind of where I'm at. Uh, six weeks out to the Vancouver Island showdown. So it's going to get a little harder and harder as the weeks progress. I may or may not do an update video next week. Just depends on if I think something significantly is looking different, then maybe I'll show you. But I did, I figured um, the two weeks that have been since my eight weeks and now, that was a good sort of two weeks. There's definitely some changes happening that you hopefully will notice. I might try to do a little comparison on screen from eight weeks versus six weeks so you can kind of see that for yourself. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, take care.